Hey everybody, it's time for another Mini Mondays, and today I'm going to be talking about the second season of Noragami called Noragami Aragoto. So I did a review of Noragami quite a while ago, um, it was in my first season, and if you haven't seen that review, I'd say watch it first. I'm gonna put like a card up here somewhere, and I'll link it in the description too if you haven't seen it already, which, considering the views, you probably haven't. So. Um, Noragami, the second season. So I did say that I really enjoyed Noragami the first season, but there were some distinct problems with the plot diarrhea, and th there were some problems like Yukine is a whiny bitch the whole time. And, um, yeah, so did they address those problems in the second season? Well, yes and no. So definitely with Yukine, he stopped being a whiny bitch, which was good. Um, <laughs> def definitely an improvement there, but the whole plot diarrhea thing? still kind of a problem. I mean, this season only has 13 episodes just like the first one, so it has a lot more story to cram into these 13 episodes, and to be honest, especially the second storyline with Ibisu, it just, it's too fast. It just doesn't, you, you don't really get any time to really care about any of these new characters. So one of the storylines from the first season was the whole Yato versus Bishamon thing, which does get a lot more fleshed out in the second season, which is cool. But to be honest, the reason for why Bishamon wants to kill Yato kind of sucks, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I mean, it's okay. I just, it just, it, there was a huge buildup and then it was just kind of like, you killed my family. It just, I don't know, it, it just doesn't work for me. So. In a way, I would say that the first season is kind of better than the second. I mean, the, the second season's still really good. I mean, Yato's obviously great. He has some really good emotional moments, actually, that, uh, you know, made me smile, made me kind of, you know, just a little bit kind of sad. Um, and yeah, like I said, Yukine is better. Um, what's called? Hiori kind of just sort of was there. You know, she didn't really have a huge impact on the story, but meh, she never really had a huge impact to begin with, so... Yeah, I mean, the characters kind of stayed sort of the same, but there are some interesting developments, and yeah, overall, I would say that it is interesting, and I would like to see a third season for sure, but, I mean, there wasn't a huge improvement from the first season, so I'd still say the show is sitting at a 3.5 oh. eyes out of 5, because it just, um... You know, I, I just didn't see a marked improvement. Which isn't to say that the good things aren't still good. The animation is still great. I still adore the designs. They're still some of my favorite designs. Especially Yato with his sexy blue eyes. And, um, yeah, just, oh, I, and I love the new theme song, too. I, I don't usually mention theme songs, but holy shit, I love the theme song for the second season. So if you already watched the if you already watched Noragami the first season, definitely watch Aragoto because it um, you know it continues on the story. It is important, but if you haven't seen Noragami, I'd say watch the first season and then gauge whether or not you're invested enough to watch the second season. I mean to be fair, it's not super long. Uh, so yeah, I would just say either check out the first season if you haven't already, or if you have watch Aragoto and I guess form your own opinion because that's just how I feel. Um, I don't have a favorite and least favorite episode. To be honest, I can't remember which one is my favorite because I watched it a while ago and I've been putting this Mini Mondays off for quite a while. So I, I honestly don't remember, so you'll have to forgive me. And I don't have the time to rewatch the whole season, unfortunately. So um, yeah, we'll just leave it off there and I'll say I would recommend the second season of Noragami, but... Mm, not more than I would recommend the first season. And that's all I have to say about that.